Weather conditions Tuesday were helping at least temporarily to calm two gigantic wildfires in the west, but there was bad news for a tiny California community savaged by flames last weekend, and property losses increased in Oregon. Damage assessment teams have so far tallied 36 structures destroyed and seven damaged in Indian Falls, said Nick Truax, an incident commander for the massive Dixie Fire in the mountains of Northern California. The 106-square-mile Tamarack Fire south of Lake Tahoe continued to burn through timber and chaparral but firefighters made progress, aided by cooler weather. The fire was 54% contained and evacuation orders that affected some 2,000 residents in 15 communities on both sides of the California-Nevada state line had been lifted. The Dixie Fire had scorched more than 325 square miles as of early Tuesday and was 23% contained. More than 10,000 homes were threatened in Plumas and Butte counties, a region about 175 miles northeast of San Francisco. An inversion layer on Monday trapped smoke over much of the fire, and the shade helped lower temperatures and keep humidity up, incident meteorologist Julia Ruthford said. Similar smoke conditions were expected through Tuesday. Monsoon moisture was streaming over the region but only light showers were likely on the fire. A return to hotter and drier conditions was forecast for later in the week. Authorities were hopeful that cool temperatures, increased humidity, and isolated showers will help them continue to make progress against the nation's largest wildfire, the Bootleg Fire in southern Oregon. It was 53% contained after scorching 640 square miles of remote land.